In GCHS, we hear stories from students from being around the world every day. But here's one story from a local teacher at GCHS. Hello, uh, here we have Mr. Cruz. Hello. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Mr. Cruz. I am a physics teacher here at Garden City High School and it's my 10th year of teaching. So I teach students from 10 to 12, so um, sophomores, juniors, and then seniors. I teach the regular physics and, and technical physics. Um, how long have you lived in Garden and how many years have you worked here? I've lived in Garden for, this is my 11th year right now, 2009. I came here 2008 and then I started the district November 8th, I remember, um, 2008. And then last year was my 10th year of teaching, so I'm running on my 11th year of teaching. Okay. So good. good. Um, so what's your story of where you came from or where did you come from? Right. I was born and raised in the Philippines, so I'm not from, from here. And then I grew up in a small community, it's just like farming, so it's like Kansas, but it's a small like farming community in the outskirts of the city. And um, I did my bachelor's in, in the Philippines. I earned my bachelor's degree in physics. And then after that, I took like a master's class and then went into some medical, medical school for a while, for a bit. And then Mr. Morales, the former principal of Garden City High School, um, he came to the Philippines because during that time, they're looking for teachers to fill in the vacancies in the U.S. And then I was lucky to be interviewed and then he hired me to teach in the U.S. So after a few months of you know, passing all the tests and then getting my work visa, I, I came here. Okay. Why did you come? All right, the, the purpose is just to see the United States. Um, I mean, it's my dream to see the snow. So right now it's snowing outside. <laughs> so that was actually my dream. So when I first interviewed, because you have to go through an interview when you're getting like a visa or like a work visa. So they asked me like, why do you want to go to the US? So first I told them that it's for work, it's a work visa. And then second is I want to see the snow. Because when I was young, you know, our dream always is the US, like Christmas, you see snow. And so when I was young, I, I, I wanted to see like an actual snow because we don't have snow in the Philippines. You know, we only have like two pronounced seasons, wet and dry, and that's it. And like here in the US, you have areas where you get snow. So it was fun, you know, seeing the snow. Yeah, that's the reason why I went here. See the snow and then for work. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so what were your plans before and after you came here? Or what are some goals, plans, dreams of yours for the future? All right, before coming here, the plan is to go to medical school. So I've started a bit, a bit of medical school. But when I got the interview and then they told me that, you know, you're hired and then we will process your visa. So I came here to, to teach. So I'm teaching right now. I didn't pursue medical school anymore. But in the future, there's a plan. I'm working on my master's right now. I'm going to graduate in May 2020. And after that, I will try medical school probably. And if I get in, I will probably take it from there, you know, um, becoming a doctor, a physician. Goal is become a doctor and more into teaching medical school rather than on in the hospital setting. Oh, okay. So I'd like to teach more yeah. because, yeah, my background is in teaching. So it would be nice to teach medical students. Okay. Uh, apart from that, what is so different about here? and the place that you're born and raised. All right, Philippines, um, more, here it's more, in, I see the culture here is more individualistic, you know. Um, in my country, there's more in the big group, group people they go together here, you have to survive on your own. Um, at a younger age, students are already like working. Like in my country, students are at that age of yours, like you, they are not allowed to work, they're protected by law. But here in the US, I guess, you know, just to train a student, you know, a kid, like, because in the future, he'll be in the workforce. In my, in, in the US, I see like a lot of students working, but in my country, they're not working. Also, similarities, family, like here, do you prioritize family? Also, in my country, prioritize family. So there's some similarities and differences. 
educational system is almost the same because Philippines, uh, the first teachers in the Philippines were actually Americans. So the system of education is the same. Okay. Um, also, do you also miss your family? Yeah, um, I miss my family and then I go home every two, two years. Um, 2017 was the first time I celebrated Christmas with them because um, since 2008 when I came here I've never celebrated Christmas home so 2017 was the time when I went home and celebrated Christmas with them so I miss them every day but with the technology available right now you know we have Skype, um, Viber, you it's like you're there near but you're just like hearing their voices no, no, not physically I mean that's good. I I love to hear how you contact your family, uh -huh. how you make oh, sure yeah. you miss them. It's quick. Right. And the true question is, do you ever feel like you're a stranger? Sometimes I do. Sometimes um, it depends on where you are. Like here in Garden, you you won't feel like you're a stranger um, because the people here they're very cor courteous or they they greet you. They say hi, hello. But when I am in a different part of the U.S., let's say San Francisco, some people, they snub you. They don't, mm. you know, they don't say hi or hello. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes you don't um, feel like you belong to that place. So it, it depends. San Francisco, I don't feel that I belong there. But here in Garden, I feel that sense of belongingness. But the celebrations sometimes, um, there are celebrations that you do guys celebrate in the U.S. that we don't, for instance, Halloween, we don't have trick-or-treating. Right. So that kind of stuff difference right there so them, sometimes I don't feel I'm part if you know like the, the trick-or-treating or what other way 4th of July we don't have those things so it kind of feels strange all right, all right. Uh, that's all for the interview thank you so okay. much all right yeah. thanks yeah. is it like eight minutes <laughs> did it sure. uh, every year our diversity gets bigger and from this we will get to learn more about our small world. Thank you for watching my presentation.